Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. What you see here is a working fuel pump, and I want to do a test as to how quick a fuel pump will burn out if you're trying to start the car with no fuel in it. As you can see here, the fuel pump is 37 degrees Fahrenheit or 39 degrees whatever. My battery's going bad in my thing. But uh, I put some power on the pump. You can see it's working. It spits out a little fuel or water so I'm gonna run this thing for 30 seconds I wish I had another clip on wire but I don't so I'm gonna run it for 30 seconds check the temperature run it for 30 more seconds check the temperature every 30 seconds to simulate if you're trying to start the pump with no fuel in it and I'm gonna check the temperature with my little uh, infrared gauge there All right, that's 30 seconds, 50 degrees. That's one minute, still only 50 degrees. I thought that would heat up higher than that. That's a minute and a half. It's really not getting any warmer, fuel pump. Still the same temperature. So it's not getting any warmer with the pump running outside of the vehicle with no fuel going through it. I think my theory is debunked and probably many other people's theory. The pump's been running a couple of minutes with no liquid flowing through it and it's not getting any hotter. And as you can hear, it's still running. I'm going to let that thing run for four or five minutes and see if it's any hotter then. We've been running about five minutes, and that pump is only 52 degrees. I'm going to pull the pump out of this car and try the same thing, see if the pump overheats and burns out running empty. Here we are running the fuel pump outside of the car. Got my jump box hooked up to it. You can probably hear it running. The theory is that a fuel pump running empty will go bad with you trying to start it. I put this temperature gauge on it when I started it 30 seconds ago. And that thing is not getting any hotter. It's still running. So, I'm thinking that this theory that if you run your car out of gas, it destroys the fuel pump may be a mess. Because this thing is still running. After about two minutes, I'm going to dip it down in that water and see if it pumps water out of the top of the unit. Hey, it sounds like the fuel pump is finally making some noise, but the temperature really hasn't risen. It's still at 51.5 degrees.
It's been running for four minutes. I'm gonna try to set it down in this water, see if it pumps the water. And as you can see, it's still working, pumping the water. I don't think that's 45 PSI, but heck, I don't know if it's pumping good PSI or not. So I'm gonna pull it back out of this water and let this thing run and see how long it'll run outside of the water before the motor stops. As you can see, it's still running. Temperature cooled down when I had it in that water, but it's probably gonna build back up to 51 degrees. Had a couple of road runners over there outside of the junkyard fence. Where are you road runners going? See if you see some road runners running. There you go, pretty quick. Sad to say, I can't sit here forever. This pump's been running for 10 minutes. It's still going relatively strong. I'm going to set it back in the water so you can see it's still pumping. I don't know. But I would say that that uh, running out of gas, destroying your fuel pumps, debunked. Because this pump's been running 10 minutes. And it's still pumping fine. And I tried another pump. And it kept running as well. So, I'm going to quit telling people running out of gas destroys your fuel pump. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.